every now and then on the internet, I would be seeing these articles about lucid dreaming, which, if you did not know, is when you can dream and then tip yourself off in some way that you're dreaming while you're dreaming so that you can control said dream. Which is, which could be amazing. I could fall asleep one evening and I could, like, you know, fly around, have a career, like anything I wanted to do. So after hearing about something of that radnitude, rad magnitude, I got studying up. I studied up. I researched. And I found that most of the steps on any website you're going to find are all about tipping yourself off, that you're dreaming while you're dreaming. Like, um, pinching yourself throughout the day, making it a habit. Like, you know, in your real life, not even while you're dreaming, so just pinching yourself every now and then. And um, I guess once that becomes a part of your routine, you'll start doing that as the person that's dreaming. So if you're, if you're used to pinching yourself and it hurts, and you dream and you pinch yourself, then it's like, that didn't hurt, it felt like a blueberry. So that's how you know you're dreaming, when your pinch feels like a blueberry. Apparently one of the best ways to induce yourself into a, a nice little lucid dream is to keep a dream journal, which is where you wake up from a dream and you have a notepad or a laptop, etc. right next to your bed so you can write down all the details that you can possibly remember from your dream. Um, this ends up being weird because it's not like a narrative, it's not like you tell your dream like a story, because details just kind of surface in your head. You might remember there was a cat and then there was a cactus and I walked through the forest but the cat I talked about before was green. <laughs> so I kept a dream journal. It ended up being a habit. I still do it. Uh, I've never lucid dreamed. Still hasn't happened, but I don't care because keeping a dream journal is hilarious. So I'm gonna read some selections to you. A young woman was locked into a parking garage and decided to make her money back from living out of the garage. You know how they, they, I guess they charge you when you leave the parking garage, some of them? Like, do you just have to live in the parking garage and make money until you leave? <laughs> I guess that's what that was. Me and a group of people are holding up in a convenience store ground level during a zombie outbreak. I am in the center with a harpoon gun, arrows attached to a string. Why would, why are they attached to a string? Like, so I can reel the zombie back in after I kill it? Why would I want it? I guess I can get my ammo back, I guess I I was with some guy inside of a building. I had to drop through some hatch to get him, and I seemed to have half and half coffee with me, and it was half empty. We tried to beat the third Bowser from Super Mario 64 on a hard mode in real life. The guy corrected me for saying D instead of V after I told him to correct my grammar. What? I was hanging out at a house, which I now realize is pretty much my mom's house. In parentheses, but I didn't feel that way. <laughs> it was me, my friend, censorship, and her friend, blank, some guy and some girl. At one point, I walk over to the kitchen for some reason, and friend walks in to tell me that the guy was talking about how he wants my money and he had checked my bag and wallet and knew I had $60. For some reason, at this specific point, I noticed that she was wearing dark lip liner. That's where the story ends. <laughs> I just moved to a tall apartment building and lived on the bottom floor. I kept having a problem where I would keep hallucinating so bad that I couldn't get out of bed. I believe that the images I was seeing were in my room in real life, like seeing my grocery list on my whiteboard, which is over there, while looking at something else. I believe I was opening my eyes. Uh, t TV professor, I'm just censoring a name again, requested I be talent for a TV show, but I knew class ended and I didn't question it much. I remember leaving not having done it and no one noticed. I looked at my ceiling fan and the blades look like corn dogs. <laughs> I'm so ashamed of myself. 